Dr. G. Excuse me, that I can't speak very good English, so I need to well, uh, the first author of this paper is coming from Cornell University, and uh, he is a doctor, major in uh, computer science, and I because his schedules were uh, fulfilled, so he couldn't come here today. Well, I will talk about the revolution of Go knowledge production in AI era. Uh, first of all, we will talk about different types of Go knowledge. Well, if we first classify our face of game, we will talk about the opening, middle game, and end game. Well, if we classify by stage of learning go, we will talk about character techniques, basic life and death, and the global judgment. Well, when we talk about the classification by production method of the knowledge, then it's, different, uh, different, it's quite different. Previously, it is based on the knowledge that is inferred from the rules. Also, the knowledge that is inducted from player skills and experience. Well, currently, the knowledge uh, is generated uh, from the assistance of Go AI. Well, uh, we will first talk about the knowledge that is inferred from goal rules and uh, the goal knowledge that can be conducted from fundamental rules of the game. Well, for example, the techniques for capturing stones, techniques in laboratories, evaluating the end game, and the life and death puzzles. Well, this kind of knowledge is often pertinent to local situation and typically has a single correct, correct solution. Well, this kind of knowledge remains unchanged even in the era of Go AI. Well, as uh, Mr. Cho has uh, mentioned that uh, it won't change uh, in this year. Well, the second classification is inducted from players' game experience. Well, it's including the opening patterns, middle game attacking techniques, Fitness and weakness. Uh, I think uh, I made some mistake. Uh, he's just talking about the thickness and weakness. Sorry. Uh, well, the, the progress in the knowledge is uh, normally driven by the top goal expert. And uh, normally the new knowledge is gradually become consensus 
uh, within the Go community uh, through application events. 经过这样的一个提出以后，那这样呃，新知识逐渐在实践中成为了围棋界的共识。Well, um, as we're working on that, and uh, it become, as mentioned previously, it becomes consensus uh, within the Go community.呃，这个知识产生的过程有一个特点是，只有被职业棋手群体所共同接受的下法啊，才会才会成为一种知识。well, the specificity of this issue is that only the moves and the strategies uh, accepted by the professional goal player uh, in the community that they acknowledge as uh, the goal knowledge. Okay, I can have a lead. Uh, let's uh, look at this example. Uh, the, the, the first uh, has left uh, 1990 在这之前，呃，大学分的定义是只有外环。Before that, uh, the definition of uh, sorry, I don't want to turn. 呃，就是一一的这个位置。At the position of one.呃，在之前只有三这么一个定义，只有往外面环的。Okay, previously we can only see at the position of three.那由于无情人。Okay, at, the, at that moment, Wu Xinyan was a top goal player. So, so he had first set up a new definition. Then, he was a top. He was a top. He is a top goal player. So he played like this structure. And after study by different go uh, professional players, we we it is acknowledged that this kind of a type uh, of a position structure. Well before the uh, appearance of AI, it is well acknowledged like this kind of structure. Well, the second one is Chinese uh, structure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chinese uh, structure. Mm -hmm. uh, previously, three, three, the Invasion doesn't exist. It was a four. 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 Yeah. Yes. Uh. Well, the first person who established this kind of structure is a very famous Chinese goal player, Chen Shuqi. Well, the first person who established this kind of structure is a very famous goal player in China, whose name is Chen Shuqi. Thank you very much. When he established this kind of structure, actually, everyone was shocked. 但是他在中国是非常有名的，非常非常努力用功的一个优秀棋手。When he placed, when he played this kind of structure, everybody was shocked. But he was very famous in China, and yeah.然后他下出来以后，啊，经过很多棋手啊研究，研究了一段时间以后，达成了共识，然后产生了新的知识。well, he played that after which uh, a lot of uh, go player, professional go players studied uh, what he has played. And uh, after a while, we, Rick, we acknowledge that uh, it's a good structure. Yeah. Well, it, it have, it's been quite a while that it's a very popular structure for the go. Before, uh, before AI appears, appeared. 那我们因为有了AI以后，发现围棋啊知识的生产发生了很大的变化。呃，呃，because of the appearance of AI, uh, the production method of Go is uh, changed dramatically. 首先我们看到一六年的 G 大赛，呃，李
施舍的阿萨赫的时候，呃，这一部著名的《五路尖冲》。And twelve, twenty-four, see, sixteen, and Arago, and the world of a Well, we can say that the fifth line shoulder hit will change the our knowledge regarding the the belief in traditional Go knowledge. 当时在进行电视解说的主播的代表性起手，聂伟平九段就说到，这部戏我得给他脱帽致敬。Well, at that moment, there was someone who interpreted on TV, and which was very famous. Go player, night, night, and then he said that I took my hat off to this move. But, um, well, most of the go player thought that it was not a good uh, play. According to the traditional knowledge. Then, when AI, uh, the development of AI, the 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 AI, well, there is a great change. First of all, the production of Go knowledge is no longer so, uh, rely on the game experience of top-level players. 而是依赖于和 AI 的拆解以及 AI 给出的胜率判断。呃 ，Well, it is rather rely on the analysis from the player uh, of the uh, uh, in the game of, with AI, uh, as well as the win rate of AI. 我们可以简单的想象一下，也就是说，在 AI 出现前，围棋知识生产的过程。呃、uh, ，We can make us uh, a brief uh, summary is that before the appearance of AI,、uh, the generation of knowledge of Go. 首先是个人或集体的研究。Uh, first of all, is personal or collectivity、uh, analysis. 然后由个人或者呃以国家队研究这个形式，在世界的比赛上。在一些有权威的赛事当中，呃，尝试。When after which we use、uh, the result of analysis、uh, to do the experiment during the match, international match or very famous match. 然后进一步的，因为有了棋谱以后，棋手我们看到以后，去进行进一步研究和验证和呃交流。After which、uh, we have a further exchange and to study about、uh, what we have played. And to have exchange of ideas among players. 最后得出结论啊，这个新的变化是否成立好或者不好 ？Finally, we draw a final conclusion whether the way that we play is good or not. 如果这个呃变化得到了一个好的结结论，它就成为了一个新的维持知识。Well, if the change resulting a good a good A good rollout, and then we will use it, and it will be popular. Ah, AI 出现后，呃，不是棋手的研究，而是棋手与 AI 的之间的一个研究。Well, after the use of AI is no longer the、uh, the analysis of only a Go player, but rather the collaboration between the Go player and AI together. 因为它呃不仅仅需要得到棋手的认可，它更需要得到 AI 的认可。Well, because it is uh, not only a need uh, the acceptance of our Go player, but also need the acceptance of AI analysis. 通过 AI 的认可，就是说 AI 的判断，它的胜率误差，然后在在比赛中进行使用。And then we we use uh, we rely on the AI AI's analysis, the win rate, and after which we use it in our game. 这个是一个非常大的变化。This is a huge difference. 
呃，为此呃，贺九分博士他呃采访了一些棋手。呃、uh, ，for this， 呃、uh, ，Doctor 贺九，呃、uh, ，interviewed different、uh, go players。呃，这个中国某职业酒吧，我可以暴露他的名字，他打 BC 酒吧。呃、uh, ，Well， 呃、uh, ，For example， this is an example from a, a very famous Maidan water、uh, player， and I can say his name。哈哈哈哈哈。呃，他就说到，呃，围棋以前没有，完全没有标准答案，但现在呢，就有一种情况。我下比赛可能我没有见过这个变化，然后下完对手会告诉我说你应该怎么下，你这个下网胜率只有多少，他都知道，他都摆过，我可能没见过，他下完告诉我怎么回事，完全是一个对数字化的概念。呃、uh, ，Well，、uh, you can see from the score. Previously, uh, in Go, there were no definitive answers. However, nowadays we're not playing a game and face a particular violation. I have never seen before. After the end, my opponent will tell me how I should have played and what the win rate would, would have. They know it because they have studied. After the end, they explain to me what, what's going on in the vibration with the accurate number. 也就是以前一些有趣的变化，以前呃一些呃围棋一些模糊化的东西，完全变成一个数字化。Well, what is interesting is that before, uh, what is not very clear is no is no longer unclear. It become numeric. 就是职业棋手的对比经验和主观的判断，在这个新的知识生产的过程当中不再是重要的。Well, uh, at uh, for the new um judgment, uh, the in in intuition of a go player and their experience is no longer becoming important. 呃、uh, ，AI 的判断成为一个唯一的标准，或者说大家必须接受的答案。Well, the judgment of AI become uh the the only answer, or we we could say that the the answer that、uh, most of people could accept. 呃、uh, ，这也是一些风格的消逝。以前，呃，我喜欢什么样风格的棋手，呃，我可以有一些呃不一样的选择。Well, uh, the, it makes the the style. Disappear because, for example, before we can say I like the style of certain good player, but now we can no longer say about it. Ah, now this kind of different choices, you have to use the value of the value. Ah, maybe another choice of the value and this value have different values. Now we were instead of talking about which kind of style I like, we would rather talk about the win rate, and the win rate may vary. Vary. Vary a lot, uh, for more than more than a lot of points, percent. Okay, we can go percent, percent, percent. Ah, of course, these players, for AI's learning, is not just a blanket approach, but also has the ability to understand AI's approach. Some players choose this approach. Uh, well, the Interpretation of how uh, AI move uh, uh, to uh, rely on. Uh, what? No, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, most of the uh, go professional go player don't really accept all of the the learning method from AI. Uh, 比如韩国的金世熙就在这里说的。呃 ，For example, uh, go professional go player from uh, Korea. Uh, 呃，我会选择下自己能看懂的方法，哪怕它不是 AI 推荐的最佳选择，但只要胜率亏损在百分之五之内，我都可以呃接受。可能有些其他棋手会有更严格的标准，呃，但大家还是会选择更适合自己的方法。Other players might have a stricter criteria, but ultimately, everyone will choose moves that suit their own style. Uh, 还有些棋手对 AI 的选择，呃，是有另外的理解。Well, the other players have another interpretation, uh, for for AI. 嗯
呃，比如在中国非常有名的围棋解说者胡亚宇大段。Uh, for example, uh, in China, there is a famous player, Liu Xiaoyu. He believes that AI translation is used to the same way as human language, including the Hanbao method of predicting the outcome of a game. Well, Liu Xiaoyu thinks that the interpretation of the AI rules is still important. Of course, human go to a technology such as the fitness and the fitness again for lost points. 很多人说，呃，他的观点啊，很多人说 AI 颠覆了围棋理论，那是完全没有的。你可以，你还是可以把 AI 下的棋归在所有的围棋理论里面，只不过他的招法超出了你的经验范畴，啊、呃，他的理论其实是跟围棋核心理论，呃，是一样的，没有区别的啊。围棋最基本的两个理念，一个是实力，一个是后薄，这是围棋最基本的围棋理论。呃 ，AI 只不过是在这个基础上比我们理解的更加深刻。
program they can be executed, replicated on appropriate on appropriate hardware and it can even become stronger with more with more advanced hardware. Well, the security of level players is significantly challenged by the rise of AI. 甚至从社会意义上来说，顶尖棋手的意义也在下降。Well, in a social level, we would we could say that the top player, the meaning of top player, may be decreased decreased by the the presence of AI. 啊，比如说，呃，一位顶尖棋手像呃，比如说李世石，呃，人们会质疑，你连电脑下不过，那你还下什么棋 ？For example, one of the top players, Li Shishi. People might challenge him that if you can't win, uh, you, you can't you can't even win uh, against AI. Ah, uh, and he was a complete master of his own skill. Well, he used to be uh, the, someone like authority in Go. There are people who use their computer to guide them 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 Uh, but there is also a good point is that the immortal nature of AI go uh, indeed resolved the uh, monopoly that some professional players use hold over their knowledge. Uh, 比如说, 在杭州学院训练的某位, uh, For example, one of the Chinese young go players has uh, mentioned that. 他觉得AI之后，像我这样的小棋手，提升水平将更加容易了。只要足够用功，跟AI学习的足够多，就能涨棋。然后过去很难有这样的条件，要找到一名高手跟他下棋，他其实也是很难。Well, this is that uh, since the appearance of AI, it is much easier for people like him to improve their skills. And if they study hard enough to analyze again with AI, and they can always improve. And uh, before, uh, before it was very difficult for this kind of player to get get access to the stronger players for violence. 那另外一个现象，呃，呃，也是法律界主要说的，但是其实你现在研究这些布局的秘密，其实只能用一次，这是产生了很大的改变。Well, uh, the same person, yeah, the same person said that uh, uh, if you discover some secret button or opening move, you can only use uh, use it once.在AI之前，很多棋手可能有他独特的呃布局，呃，或者说研究一个新的变化，可以用很久，这是他的独门武器。Before AI, a go player can have their secret opening move, which is specified to themselves. But after AI, it's different. 但现在你研究个人研究再长时间，呃，回去你的对手回去去用AI拆解了以后，马上就破解了。Well, the mo now, nowadays, no longer how hard you study uh, about your opening, about your moves. Your opponent can study uh, back backwards, afterwards with AI, and uh, it can be easily uh, analyzed about your structure. Now, although it is only one-time, I have studied for a long time, but I cannot study for one time. I cannot study for one time, because if I study for one time, I cannot study for one time. 在一次重大的比赛、重大的对局的时候，你可能就吃亏。Well, uh, nowadays, uh, about your opening move or your specific personal move, you can only use once. But the moment that you can't, uh, you know, you can't not study because if you don't study, uh, you can't, you can't make any
首先的话，呃，从三个方面。呃，from AI出现后变成了棋手于AI的研究和采集。以后是由职业棋手的群体达成了共识 在AI出现后,不是通过棋手的共识成为一个新的棋手,而是通过AI胜率的认可以及 其手职业棋手对新知识的一个解读，然后形成了一个新的知识。After the 这里我想先讲一点本来我有一点爱出现的话职业棋手会非常痛苦 well, after different uh, interview and analysis, we find that the pro professional player are very useful. Uh, despite that, uh, before the appearance of AI, they are the person who uh, proposed a new concept or knowledge. Well, they will tell you well, after the appearance of AI, they are becoming the new, uh, the interpreter of new knowledge. Uh, 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 uh,最后我们可以看到这些展望也就是说围棋知识的生产方式发生了天翻地覆的变化不会在只发生在围棋界围棋是走在人工智能革命浪潮的第一线也就是说人类可能会从一个主导者变成一个解读者或者一个辅助角色 Well, it means that the human being would track would be changed from a leader uh, to an uh, interpreter. For, for example, uh, you drive without a driver. Well, in the future, the role of doctor, uh, the role of the teacher, well, might, might need a better interpreter uh, nearby. Now, we and then we will ask our final question. Uh, 
，我们作为人类呃棋手或者人类呃的爱好者，我们该如何与一个不朽的 AI 共存？ Well, in the era in the era of AI, as a human player, how we could coexist with uh, with Goya? During your witty uh, presentation, I like your smile. Dr. Jilu, thank you for your excellent 